gender-based workplace violence and sexual harassment may be the workplace issue of our generation. It affects workplaces across the world, from those in Australia to garment factories here in the Indo-Pacific region. Sexual harassment is prevalent, however, not much has been done. And instead of us deciding what should be done, we wanted a dialogue with the other stakeholders or the industry leaders on, on how to, to manage this. There is like a drive and a passion to really make a change here. The world is run by those who show up and you've shown up. That's the reason why we wanted to use our convening power to bring different stakeholders and partners together because we believe that it is uh, the shared responsibility among all of the stakeholders to address and tackle this issue. So the event had panel discussions that really set the scene around, well, what is sexual harassment? What are we talking about? We talked about it from the perspective of investors and from brands about why is it important to you at your place in the supply chain or in the marketplace. I think the investor panel was really good because it was bringing a perspective that often isn't inside these types of forums. It's, it's really important, it's not just only say, but... Sure, sure, not... sure. I've been doing this work for 30 years, so to come to a space like this and to have everyone in the room start from a place of we have a problem is powerful, right, and, and tremendous. Second day was really looking at what can you do about it? What are some really practical steps to help address sexual harassment across the supply chain collectively rather than saying, well, it's someone else's problem? So this, this one specifically is about leadership. I learned different perspectives from different key stakeholders, uh, which is a very rare case to happen. Especially from the big brands, because combating the sexual harassment at workplace, especially in the countries where law enforcement is not very strong, the role of the brands are very important and powerful. If you are a retailer, show suppliers how to raise your hand. There was a safe space, and in that safe space, some very, very crucial, important questions came up. And that is a discussion to build on uh, now going forward, uh, summarizing these two days, uh, what can we do? Uh, what do we have to do and how can we support each other on that? Yeah, having the workforce of producing many uh, human commodities used by the rest of the world, of course we are responsible and we must make sure to make our laborers a happy and safe environment. So if we find out that the company invests in terms of blind eye to an issue like sexual harassment in the supply chain, or even worse, they don't even know where they're sourcing from, it, it asks the questions to you, well, what else should we worry about? And what kind of company is this? I think we want to keep building on this as Care and Better Work and with the industry for that collaboration and collective action, but it's a really good first step. Now we have to like sit down and, and pick each other's brains on how that's going to look and what will we actually do together. Collaboration is essential. None of us individually is able to overcome this issue in the workplace, but working collaboratively um, to address the problem we will win, we will succeed.